Okay, today we're going to learn something called parametric modeling. It's a technique in Inventor where you can make one model, which can then be expanded in the infinite number of variations of that same model, keeping the same perspectives. Very powerful modeling tool called parametric modeling, where we model with variables rather than actual numbers. So you see on the screen here this plate, which is modeled all with these D numbers. These are variables, D, D0 to D14. And so we're going to define what those variables mean so that when we put them into our model, the model can interpret the actual dimension that's required. And the way we know that is if we look at the next table, it gives us a geometric relationship here. Each of the 15 variables, D0 to D14, has a description and it has a geometric relationship. And then we turn that geometric relationship into a parametric equation. For example, five thirds ratio over all plate width to plate depth. So if we know the plate depth, D0 is defined as three, and we do have to have at least one variable defined as a number, as a control. So we define the overall plate depth, and then if we take the three and substitute it in for D0 and multiply times five thirds, we get five inches for the value of the plate width. So it maintains that five to three ratio. If this were six, this would be 10, for example. Now they've given you some of the parametric equations based on the geometric relationships. Some of these, you, whether they're blank, you will need to take this description and what you see elsewhere and come up with your own equations. Now, where do you put these equations in Inventor? So when you go to Inventor, you'll start a new part. And before you do any modeling, we have to create our parametric table. Okay, so we're going to take this first equation here which is D0 5 thirds. We'll do these first two variables and get you a, give you an idea of how this works. So before you start modeling, we go to manage and we go to parameters. It's going to come up with a table that we can fill in. Down at the bottom, we're going to click on add numeric and we're going to type in D0 as our first variable. Under the equation, there is no equation. There's just a number, so we're going to put three. And it's important that over here under comment, you also type in what this variable actually represents. So we're going to actually type in overall plate depth. That way we keep track of what the variables are years and weeks from now. We'll know what that variable means. And then we hit enter to, to make that one stick. And then we're going to, to keep adding all the other 14 variables. You're going to cl keep clicking add numeric. You're going to do the next one, which is D1. Now, this one does have an equation. So it's D0 times parentheses 5 divided by 3. And then you come over here to the comment, and you're going to type in overall plate width. And this way, we're keeping up with, and then hit enter, we're keeping up with all of our variables. Now, one more little note before we go. You can click done when you're done with the entire table. But one thing you want to note here also is that there is a <clears throat> angle at several places. If you end up with a taper at some kind of angle, which is not in inches, it's in degrees, you'll need to go back to your parameter table and here under inches, under units, you'll pull up units, you'll pick angularity and you'll pick degrees. All the others will just remain inches. So, Good luck on doing your parameter table. Once you build the entire parameter table and click done at the bottom, then you're free to go do your model. So for example, if we were gonna do our first little part here, it says it's D0 by D1, if you see the model here. So we're gonna do a file, we're gonna do a new, I'm sorry, we're gonna do under start 2D sketch. We're gonna just draw our rectangle like we normally would. So the rectangle is going to be up like this. So instead of putting in numbers, I'm going to put in D1, tab D0, enter. And if I pull back and look at that actual rectangle, notice it says it's 5 by 3. You can see those numbers un under those icons. 5 by 3, and it's got a little FX in front of it indicating that it was actually calculated by formula. And you finish your sketch. When you extrude, you extrude by D2 up here. 
So instead of putting in a number, you extrude by D2. And it'll automatically go and grab those that information, and it will do the uh, proper dimensions. So good luck on your parametric modeling. We're going to model both the plate and the block. And you can come back to this video as often as you need it.